Hey Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. <laughs> my gosh, really the message is just for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, all located down below in the description box, so you can check it out there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay. Where are you? Ah. Wow, this was interesting. I was like, hey, this just came out for Pisces. What in the random? Okay, so... I do want to say that this is you for my sanity because you're an air sign and this is literally all of these are earth. Very interesting. Could have a lot of energies around you. These are huge. <laughs> okay. Wow. These are so funny. So you have this gray heron with introspection and patience. Okay. So you could be, <laughs> sorry, you could be like, doing your thing. There's a certain part of you that's just having to kind of go within and introspect and be patient. Okay. Right now is not the time really for action quite yet. And we have here gorilla with nobility and leadership. Some of you guys could be leaders in some capacity. We have koala with family and stability, or you have a leader around you. And then we also have bear with protection and faith. Wow. Okay. Aquarius, you have some kind of situation going on. Maybe you're dealing with your own family. There, there could be something formulating at this time. You are highly protected during this time. Okay. You might have maybe some kind of guardian um, that is watching over you. And I generally don't talk about stuff like that, interestingly. But feels like to me that there are like really powerful archetypes that are coming into your reality and you could be maybe you're protecting your family let's see oh yeah there is the eclipse yeah for those of you how appropriate so solar corona is the eclipse so it was the recent eclipse thing that came up i feel like you guys kind of knew something was going on but you didn't have the full awareness or all the details but the eclipse brought something specific up to the surface and literally it says surface <laughs> okay how totally accurate some of you guys, and I've talked about this quite a bit, so please allow me to get into the nerdy side of this for a little bit so you can understand. Solar eclipses to me are, because you know how the moon crosses over the sun and it goes dark for a little bit. It's this holographic thing that comes out within you from an accumulation of something that's been repressed, probably fear. You know, because we get that over time. So if there was an accumulation of fear over the past three years that had just kind of built up and built up, or it was suppressed for some of you guys, that's what came up during the eclipse season. And you might be like tripping out because you're like, wow, I mean, the the what you had absorbed or situations that you had gone into and whatever chemical, <laughs> it became manifested. Okay, so it could be that right now, that could be why you're in this introspection phase, because you're looking at your involvement in the current creation of what came up to the surface, yeah? So you could be, maybe that's even trippy for some of you guys, but this could be about, yeah, nobility, like I'm looking at all these keywords, you could be looking at family makes you feel stable right here. And we have this whole, like, you could be just having to have faith at this time that you're protected or your loved ones are protected or whatever came up to the surface. But yeah, solar corona is a light revelation. So it's, it's full on revelation. 
It's learning that comes forth through a difficult time, allowing for understanding and transformation. So that's really what was happening is you might not have known that something had accumulated within you. It could be about your perspective or the way you were seeing things, probably some kind of fear, whatever the heck it was. I just think that something could have maybe thrown you off your game for a while, like of feeling detached from things. But you have this surface is about going deeper. The outer extremity of bodies, you know, this limits and separates everything that surrounds it. External appearance without depth of understanding. It can be shallow. Surface can, it can allude to sur superficiality. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. So for some of you guys, that could have been even what come, came up to the surface. I, this could be that someone that you're dealing with, it could have been, you're dealing with a person that cared more about superficial things. That is what it is. You had an interaction with someone and someone could have tried to make you care more about shallow things or that's somehow apparent in your reality. Like if you've got someone that's actively coming forward towards you, they lack the depth and that's a struggle for this other person, Aquarius. Like, this person can't fake authenticity. And that might be very challenging for people that are interacting with you in any way. Because, like, you're real. Or you have light revelation. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So we have the Magician and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this energy, this person, this magician, it came up somewhere about this person that you feel like they're very influential. Like whatever they had said, they had kind of like, and you have this very keen perspective, Aquarius. You could have been observing things about this person. I think this person does not want you to get back up or had not planned on you getting back up. And you need to be aware about that with this person because this Ten of Swords can be kind of like, whatever it is, there's a lot of energy clearing out within you from this process, okay? You also have this Five of Pentacles. So for those of you, it could have even affected your health, whatever had happened here. But, it, oh, going back to what I was saying. So I was seeing that, you have like this super keen perspective and even this person had, it's like you could be filtering back through memories of the way that this person had kind of sold the situation, you know, like made it appear because the magician is like a magic trick. Like this person can twist the reality to sell themselves, but they were really just selling you a lemon. <laughs> this is a used car dealer. So we have, yeah... Okay, so in the past, you had some kind of connection with this person, with the Two of Cups. So you, had, you made an emotional connection with this person. This also could have been during a time that, like, there was a lot of emotional charge here. Or just, a, there was a lot of significance here. You guys have kind of intertwined in and out of each other's lives, possibly with the Two of Cups. Because I always like the way that she depicts this. With the tails. So there's been these interactions that have come in and out. But I think ultimately you're realizing that it, like, for some reason or another, it does not make you feel good about yourself. Um, we have the high priestess. See, there's the tower. The queen of wands. Hmm. And the emperor. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay. Year of the Hermit is the final outcome. That's awesome. I feel like when it comes to a particular person, you could just be protecting yourself because I think this person got you somewhat caught up in a very materialistic or a superficial world 
And for a while, you could have been thinking like, oh, is, are those the things that matter? They are not. And I think that this person could have, I don't know, there, there's just something about the depth. You might be dealing a person that actually lacks de depth. So they might struggle to be real. Because some of you guys, this person, because I, I just keep picking up on that intuitively you knew something was going on with this. Some of you guys, this person actually has um, another person. And that could have been the thing here. Is like, wow. <laughs> this person, Aquarius, might intentionally be trying to, like, they would almost deliberately come back to reject or discard you by being seen with another. So it's, it's very interesting. It's almost like they might come closer together with another energy to, like, possibly betray or whatever. I think you're intuitively you feel like something's going on. I d oh, that's what it is. So wow. So like I would stay away from them, Aquarius. You guys will know what's best in your situation, but I just see, get that there's a lot of protection around you. You are in more of an introspective energy but i also get too that you have got you're in an emperor energy it's coming out as you some of you guys could be thinking about an emperor okay there could be some strategy going on here but i also feel like there's something building at this time it could be a little bit more fire oriented and i feel like it's coming in from your side i think that there's an energy that you might be dealing with it this is talking about either recent past or the far past you could have seen this person with another and you there was a little bit of confusion about what the dynamic was going on there because like when you interacted with this person with the magician the ten of swords the five of pentacles this person this is really what's even going on within this person they could feel very betrayed or wounded just in life in general and that energy is built up with inside of this almost like this bitterness and this person might deliberately do things it's just like something that's going on this person might struggle with drinking or but it's like you have this fixed energy because you are a fixed sign that's why anytime you come across as Aries you actually are a very good match with Aries if you guys realize that or not you have some kind of fire turning on from this situation. And I also feel the high priestess is kind of secret. You almost have some kind of, there's something being kept here. <laughs> and it's, you see how there's a key here? Oh, do I dare say this? I think more I'll say in the extended. But there could be something, something coming up that is kind of surprising. The tower keeps coming into your guys' spread. And I keep picking up on... I am so sorry for continuing to go back to this. But it's like this person, they said specific things and you were you thought that they... If, if you had some kind of intuition... Well, the, the way that this person, like, tried to get around your intuition, it, it was, like, pretty convincing with the magician. Because you might be filtering back through those memories because if you have this integrity where when you go into situations, like, you make sure that people aren't doing things with sleight of hand or, you know, like, lying. Or if this is about romance, like, you make sure people aren't, like dealing with others or dealing with relationships not the case okay and I do think there's something here that's 
you have the hermit and the high priestess surrounding all of this energy, which makes me think that the tower is going to be something surprising. Okay, whatever that means. I don't know. I, it could be on one side, like someone comes in with a tower. Um, you might be sensing it because this high priestess is kind of like, you keep sensing things about this situation. And I just keep getting that. <sighs> yeah, there's something surprising that's going to come up here. You know what's really unfortunate about the situation, Aquarius? Because for those of you, if there's another energy involved here, if there's another kind of like really attractive person, intuitively you could have received some something from this particular person. And like I said, it's really unfortunate for those of you, if there's like something going on where communications could clear things up, I don't think that's happening right now because when it comes to your energy, you've kind of got your energy on lockdown. See with that key? So it's like if people want access to your energy, like people are deliberately, this is so what's so freaking trippy. You can choose what you give to people energetically. You can choose what you want to let people know energetically. But the high priestess is very secretive. So there's kind of something here that you have locked away and it might come as a surprise to some other particular energy. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. There's a lot that's going to come up to the surface, okay? Because the fact that this came in, you either have actual family or what's going to feel like family that's going to come together. Also, there's going to be another energy that's going to come forward. Either you guys are going to take on some kind of leadership role in this situation. And there's also something I'm getting here about, like, with you coming in as the gray heron, there are energies surrounding you. This is the thing I was picking up at the beginning. I apologize. You guys should know how I am, though. There are energies that are more earth-oriented, so that's why I was picking up on that. Wow, the star is on the freaking bottom. But you're, you might have either more freedom in this situation or you will be moving around quite a bit. I'm not sure what that's talking about, but there are other energies that are kind of like um solidified or you know they're they have huge energies and there could be an energy coming in that's like very protective okay um i don't think it's known yet with the hermit card there's just more that's going to come up to be honest because i think that There's just more things that are positioning themselves at this time. Anyway, I am sorry. This I really struggled in this reading. I'm not going to lie. It was sometimes hard to communicate because I have a clear, clear picture in my head. But choosing words is very powerful, and that is sometimes and that's what I'm honestly struggling with in your reading, Aquarius. So let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.